Good morning, the worst fans. No, 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 I didn't mean like that. Uh, the worst figures uh, produced by Super 7. Uh, basically, it's their own independent property, which uh, are not the good guys, they're not the bad guys, they're the worst. Basically, the most villainous villains of all, the, the vile, vile things, the, uh, the ghosts of Frankenstein and this luchador wrestler lion tiger guy uh you know basically a bunch of weirdos uh that for some reason they're all grouped together uh, i like to think that they're all a superhero team and they uh, uh well super villain team i guess and they go off and fight uh good guys or, or something uh but also uh it seems like they're separated a, a lot uh, in time there's one that's a basically a space pirate and so I can only assume he's in the future. Uh, but also there's uh, a robot Reaper and uh, Snake Tut. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, a whole lot of interesting, unique characters that are in this independent property. And, um, well, I got some more. I got some more of those miniature little catchy surprise figures. Uh, and I thought I'd share with them with you. So uh, let's take a look at them now. All right, first up is Bat Eula. Basically, he is Dracula, sort of like in between uh, his bat form and human form, but, well, now he's just a giant bat. The Bat Prince of Darkness hunts his vi unknowing victims from dusk till dawn, satisfying his unyielding thirst for blood. Ooh, uh, He's just basically a giant bat now. Um, and I like his little, uh, his little staff with the human skull on it. Ooh, it doesn't like to stay in his hands, unfortunately. Um, also, uh, before I continue too far, you may notice that this, uh, this figure is a slightly different pink than, uh, basically Wave 2, so let me do it this way. This is Wave 1, uh, sort of kind of a, uh, kind of a browner, uh, uh, plasticky color, while the Wave 2 is more of a pink color. So that's just kind of an interesting side note. I'm glad they went with a more of a pink color, uh, for, for now. Uh, but maybe they'll they'll continue and uh, I don't know give us more interesting multicolored things. You know, um, I know they do a lot of uh, uh, blues and greens and kind of in betweens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so yeah, let's move on. All right, next up is the robot reaper, the robotic harbinger of death, stalks the living day and night, never failing, never stopping, as long as his batteries hold out. I mean, that's really, that's legitimately on his card, and that's hilarious. Uh, by the way, all the art is produced by Ed Repka, uh, who, did, who did a fantastic job, and I really wish that they would uh, portray it some more. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> basically, this is a robot uh, Grim Reaper. For some reason, somebody had the great idea to make a gr Grim Reaper that's a robot. He'll, he never stops, never, never ending, and he'll stop and just take you out. Although, I, I like to think that he's more of a reaper for all those electronics uh, that uh, fulfilled their usefulness long ago, and now they're just collecting dust, and they stopped working. You know, he comes up behind all those 8-track tape players and just takes them out. Uh, yeah, he's very cool. He comes with his own little scythe that kind of just kind of swivels around. And I don't know, is it is it safer to do that way or this way? It looks a little bit more menacing that way. Anyway, uh, let's uh, move on. Next up is X2, the unknown. The mysterious shadow assassin hails from nowhere. Motivations unclear. If you end up on his crosshairs, you better say your prayers. Bang, bang. Basically, he's just two giant X's um, and a cod piece, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a weird assassin with a six-barrel gun. And, ooh, he, it looks like he's a clockwork man all along. <gasps> Gasp. I, I don't know. He's a really cool kind of... Uh, Definitely a B movie uh, villain, definitely, uh, or at least like a Terminator esque villain to come after you. I definitely, I, I feel that's where they were going for with this, but they went into their own unique, uh, unique aspect of it. Uh, I really enjoy these uh, side guns and the accessories. I'm sure they'll get lost eventually, but they're fun for now. You know, that's all good. Uh, all right, let's uh, take a look at the next one. All right, another skull dude. That's awesome. Uh, the Black Falcon, the undead warrior of doom, is driven to destroy and stops at nothing to vanquish his barbarian enemies. Urgh. 
So this may this would this is the guy that makes me think that all of the the worst figures are all uh, basically these villains of that time period. And this guy is definitely from like some sort of medieval, I don't know, barbarian landscape or something. Uh, I, I don't really know why he's got this weird. I, I'm going to call it a Raphaelian uh, weapon here. I, I'm sure a lot of you would understand why. Uh, but he's just very, he looks like a dude from a, a heavy metal album, and I really dig that. He's got, he's basically got a, a, a whole a whole bunch of armor on, a belt buckle that's an eagle. Are these skulls down here? Yeah, those are skull knee pads. Uh, on the back, there's really nothing but says, oh, I mean, he's made in China. What do you know? All the good things are made in China these days, especially his armor. Ah, uh, what do you know? But yeah, I really dig his points up here. Very bendy, very rubbery. <laughs> look at that um yeah a lot of fun with this guy and uh a lot of detail love the detail um yeah let's uh take a look at the next guy the gas phantom the ethereal specter of evil exists as a sentient cloud of gas imprisoned into the suit that keeps his body and mind together now this guy is cool basically he gives me a lot of that uh I don't know, the Scarecrow from uh, uh, Batman vibes. Uh, but he's basically, I don't know, well, I guess he is kind of like a, a living Scarecrow. He's just filled with nothing uh, but this suit and just kind of this bag over his head. I, definitely, well, there we go. Definitely the Invisible Band. There we go. I knew he reminded me of something particular. Uh, but yeah, he's got a ray gun for some reason and a uh, uh, bunch of tanks on his back for some reason. Um, other than that, he's really kind of a simple fit character, just some goggles and uh, a hood. Yeah, uh, definitely an odd uh, choice, an odd character. Uh, but again, definitely in the B movie range. So, yeah, I definitely see him as the bad guy, can't you? Yeah. So uh, let's move on. Last but very not least is Snake Tut, the serpent god of destruction, reigns supreme as a living god, tormenting his subject for thousands of years. Obey it, or, or I will destroy you. Ah, uh, yeah, he's a cool snake tut god thing. Um, definitely see that they were going for yet another snake character. Uh, in, in addition to Shidusa, basically, he's uh, another snake character. Uh, I like his uh, snake staff here, although I wish he were to go a little bit further with the snake theme. I mean, he's a snake person with a snake headdress and a snake staff. Uh, but Shane doesn't have a snake tail, you know? Uh, although I guess that would be getting a little too far into Shadusa's territory, but I digress. He's a really cool character, a lot of detail, um, yeah, a lot of bandages, and I really dig that face, although it's really just a face that a mother can love, huh? Shh, that's right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's the last of uh, the worst figures. Basically, all these characters are... Uh, just kind of a, a random assortment of weirdos and villains from all time periods and things. And I really dig them. Uh, I really hope that uh, Super 7 makes some more of these figures. Uh, definitely makes some more action figures and a, a higher quantity. Uh, and I want to see some more uh, some more variation of, of characters, guys. I mean, uh, what you have so far, that's pretty awesome. And yeah, I would definitely buy a lot more if you made more. Just, I'm not so far into uh, the different colors. Keep it the classic peach, and uh, I don't know, we'll see about all the purples and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, yeah. until then, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!